Hi everyone. This um, board here is a deliberately made. This is only a very cheap uh, student uh, little uh, tripod. This is a t 15 by 12 inch so that when you get a 15 by 12 inch size paper like that all you need to do is put clips on and you're ready. So you don't have to be, you don't have to be doing things, make things ready for yourself. It's all ready for you. You set it up and everything, dead simple, really simple. So, and then when you cut it in half, I made that, I put some tape round there and then painted it brown and then ripped the tape off. Now what I do now, I have to put that in that, see that position there for this half half one like that so that I know when I put the mount round it it fits perfect okay so let's see do you know it's it's easy to rip sometimes and then you can't turn it it's that strong this this particular white one i'm using tape i'm talking about oh get her off get her off right i'm back back to normal So we've taped it on like that and when we've finished it it'll fit perfectly. We pluck up our amount when it's finished and just do that. Now isn't that a good idea? So there you've got it. So now we can paint. Now I'm not one who thinks that is be all in the end of, and end all. I just do it for a bit of a hobby. Pass me to hammer. on. Does it? Kill your man. Now you can use any kind of a brush. You can use this one. You can use it, but you need a big one because if you want to wet it in first, you know, you, you, you'll wet it in first before you do the sky. Uh, just give me a minute. Okay, well I was just thinking, you know what, when you're wetting it in and you're using a brush, I was wondering if a sponge would do it, shall we try, now I've never tried this, never ever tried it, but shall we try, no, so shall, see what happens, See what if it makes it any different. So if it's very dry like this. Okay. Now let's get get a brush. Get some blue. Ultramarine. Uh, okay, ultramarine, yeah, I'll do. And then a bit of cobalt. And let's just we'll just put it. Now uh, let's see if it runs much. Now that's on a, on a sponge. With a sponge wet in it. Well look it does on there. Well let's leave it a second or two it seems to be. 
Do they have any laughs on it? Yeah. It just seems to have stopped rolling a bit, doesn't it? Now, when it, it, sometimes you'll think it looks dark, but it's in the habit of going a lot lighter. No, no, see, it's, it's, it's still all right, don't it? If you, just wait in a minute, and it's uh, it stopped running. So you're not getting ca cauliflowers, and you can leave it like that. It'll dry. It'll dry out well. Now, hold if it was that. Let's have a little try with. Now I'm going to squeeze it as dry as I can, and just put one rub across. I shifted that at the bottom there so it can go straight on. I've just put one rub across on some old paint there, green paint. Uh, let, let's see what uh, what goes out of it. Let's put that on. Well, there's a, that's with, it, with that green, all green stuff off the bottom there. Let's get that. And then we'll dry it, shall we? so many ideas when I'm painting. I don't take proper paint, that's proper painting what other people do on here. What I do is like, I, I like uh, being a bit wild with it, just putting what I want on, doing what I want on, trying what I want. Now just what I, I, now as I'm doing that, I just imagined that could be a light blue sky, that could be yellow there, and it could be a desert. I'm just two little pyramids there, what with light on one side, dark on the other, it would be a beautiful desert, wouldn't it, see? And then some tiny little Arabs up and down here with some camels. Uh, now it just comes to me that. And then you could have, what, what else would you have in the uh, desert, see? Or a few, or them tents they have, you know, square, with them like a, uh, cloth going across there. So then they've made that one up and done it. Oh, and I'm just thinking now, so now what can we do with this? We, we can, we, we've, let's not try and do another. Uh, instead of doing what we're always doing then, you must be sick of them uh, little cottages there. So what else can we do instead of a cottage? Or a farmer is. Uh, hmm. Well, some people do a church, don't they? Eh? What would you do? Uh, uh, I don't know, I can't know what I'd do really. What, what could I put in there? Let's settle for. Uh, we'll put some. I blew it back, so that'll give us our mountain. So we'll, we'll put a mountain in, that, that'll not, that's not out of place, is it? We can just put a, a mountain in, what's there to us? Eh? That's, that's our mountain, a mountain range your bags there. Now, let's see if this will do any good. Mm. So we'll put the mountain range up back. We could put a, a pond in here, across here, couldn't we? So we take up some blue now, again, and we'll now the pond. 
No, if we have it, this part of it near to us. I'll tell you, if we put some, some get some uh, um, burnt umber, and we just put some stalks in here. With salad for your brush. No, a bit more burnt tumble, yeah. No, don't put everything all the same. Right, now that's giving us some bit more, bit more darker. Bit more burnt umber, touch of blue or something, a bit darker. This now we put that in, so now we can uh, bring a little bit of warmth over there. There's some sunshine in Paul, isn't it? Uh, let's see a bit of yellow and a little bit of light red because we wanted a bit orange here. So let's uh, just see what that looks like. No, you see, I don't know. It looks a bit weird, but I wonder if we could, we can probably change that in a minute. Watch. Do this side as well. Now, what we'll make it, we'll do is, we'll, we'll change that to, so that we're making that into a middle ground. Eh? So we'll put that as a middle ground. So we'll put that as a middle ground. Now what I've done, I've, I've pushed that back, so a bit more brown. Probably a little bit of blue in it. A bit of brown and a bit of blue together. Like that. I'm so far away the your trees are you can't see them now that's far enough away now this but this here is coming farther towards us in town and rather off Yeah, they're miles and miles away now, aren't they? But what we want now is to bring this a bit farther forward. Let's bring it nearer to us. Hey, so we'll get our brown again. Any old dirty brown that I'm using, anything what's dirty, see anything. And I'm just, I'll just bring it, bring these, bring this line here. About the right. Huh? No. My trees can start looking a bit round, not flat top. Not too many. Now this is coming closer to you. I didn't know what I was starting with, did I? But look what we're coming out with. No, we, well, it's so far away, but we could have some oh, very, very, very uh, tiny as you can get there. It's not quite tiny enough. But I've showed you how, how near that is while putting this in. Haven't I? This is what we do. Everything's would be changing as it comes towards you. Now you can see that, that if you had cows in that field there, you you wouldn't you all you'd see was be little dots like that. And you'd think they were you know, you think, well, yeah. Now, the next thing we'll do, we'll bring a bit of green in. Now, there's a yellow. No, I don't bother about what's a, a bit of... 
ultramarine. There's a green, there's a, see. Now that, that, you, use a bit of lemon yellow if you want. Now there's your green, that, that's a very, very greeny green, so it's not quite, we don't want it so greeny green, you start in. So let's put some raw sienna into it, eh? Or even uh, raw umber. Watch it, there's the brown. Uh -huh. no, but we have to still have it like yellow, so put the blue, I mean, I mean green, so put more blue in. Now that's a dirty green, but let's see what it looks like. Now, putting little dark things in brings things forward all the time. Now, start going back again and using a bit of that, that umber, that. I'll just put a little bit of dark here. It's raw umber I'm talking about. Which is a more brownica. So we put that there. Now here, if we lay an eyebrows on the side, we can just put some bushes in. Like that. Now, can you see what's happening? Bringing this a little bit forward, showing that, that, and that, and that. And this is distance in it, making the distance. This fence next up here, this is going to be, this fence is going to be a little bit taller. Now can you see the difference here? something with a strength in that. Now, if you want, you could now put a tree this distance. And a little bit of a bushes around here under the tree. Maybe a little bit darker in that. Now we've made a little picture from nothing. Now here you could put it a bit darker still. This is just that little bit darker. A little bit of old dirty old stuff and just do that. Now can you see it's coming to I'm pulling it that's the top there and I'm pushing it to that point up there at the bottom with it. Can you see to that bottom? And then I'm pushing this down here. Like that. I 
happy. I don't think it's dark enough. Just rub you in some dirty old stuff here. And just touch the, touch the top. Drag it down. And there's your little tree. Have a little bit on that there if you want. Like that. Now you've now made a complete picture and you've not had any idea what I'll do. Well, it wasn't that easy. Hey? So I'll put this on for you, let you see what's happening, and then we'll do another one today in a bit, in, a, in another minute or two. I'll do you another one, and I'll, I'll do one where we, we try and let things go when we're painting. We don't take things too serious. Hey? You know, let things go, just be happy. And use any brush and do it. Look at look at that sky now we didn't we didn't try, did we? And I sponged it on, didn't I? That one thing being a bit higher. So and I sponged it on. I sponged it on. It's clear. It's there's no bits in it. I tried that sponge. I imagine, you know, that would be all right, wouldn't it, with acrylic. I've never tried anything like this, me. I, I don't be, I let, let the brush do my work. Always let the brush do my work. Right, I'll see you in a minute. 